Hello, in this video lecture we are going to see a problem based on balancing of rotating masses. And let me start the video now. Four masses A, B, C, D as shown below are to be completely balanced. So they are given four different masses A, B, C, D and the system is completely balanced. So you need not to add any other masses to balance the system because it's already balanced. Okay. And the masses are is given in kilograms and radius which is given in millimeter. So actually the mass of A is not given that's what we are going to find and B is 30 kilogram, C is 50 kilogram and D is 40 kilogram. And the radius, radius is nothing but the distance between the mass and the central axis. So the mass is placed uh, some distance away from the axis radially so that distance is known as the radius. So A is having the radius of 180 mm and B is 240 mm, C is 120 mm and D is 150 mm. The planes containing masses B and C are 300 mm apart. The angle between the planes containing B and C is 90 degree. B and C make angles of 210 degree and 120 degree respectively with D in the same sense. So, what they are saying is actually there are four different masses and all are in separate planes. A, B, C, D. All those masses are in different planes. But they have given about B and C. They have given about B and C which is 300 mm apart linearly. And the angle between planes containing B and C is 90 degree. So B and C are linearly 300 mm apart and angularly 90 degree apart. B and C makes an angle of 210 degree and 120 degree with the D. So actually the mass D is 210 degree with mass B and 120 degree with mass C. So the linear portion of B and C and the angular portion of B and C is given and additionally the angular portion of D is given. So the linear portion of D is not given. For A, the mass is not given, linear portion not given and angular portion also not given. But for D, mass is given, angular portion is given, the linear portion is not given. So that's what we are going to find from the problem. So let me express the given data as a diagram. So this is the central axis. This is the central rotating axis. And they have given the complete data about B and C. The radius of B is 240 mm. So the B is radially 240 mm away from the central axis. And C is 120 mm away from the central axis. And linearly B and C are 300 mm apart. And angularly, B and C are 90 degree apart. Okay. So that's what they have given in the problem. So what we are going to do is, we are going to draw all the masses, the linear portion and the angular portion. And after that, we have to form a table column to calculate centrifugal force and couple force. After calculating centrifugal force and couple force, we will draw the force polygon and couple polygon. From the diagram of polygons we can calculate the unknown, unknown mass and unknown orientation. So that's what we are going to in the complete lecture. So I repeat again we are going to draw the linear position of all the masses and the angular position of all the masses and after that based on the angular position we are going to draw couple polygon and force polygon. So for that we need to find centrifugal force value and couple value. So after drawing the couple polygon and force polygon from the polygon diagram, we can calculate the unknown mass values and we can calculate the orientation of the unknown mass values. So clear? Okay, let me start to draw the linear portion. So actually what we are going to draw linear portion is, it is a central axis, okay? <coughs> this is the central axis and we know two masses completely, mass B and mass C. This is mass B and this is mass C. Both are 300 mm apart. That's what I have drawn here. Both are 300 mm apart. And we don't know the linear position of A and D. So I simply draw D and A. So I simply draw like a, it will come like a A, B, C, D. So I have drawn like this. 
this one is B and this one is C. So let me draw this one is A and this one is B. Sorry, this one is D. And the distance from B is not given and distance from C is not given. Distance from B is not given for A and D. So the linear portion of D and A is not given. Only about B and C is given. Clear. And let me assume that initially I have assumed A is left side of B and D is right side of B because it will come like A, B, C, D. So it will be easy to draw. So easy to assume also. So I have drawn the diagram linear portion uh, coming like A, B, C, D. So after calculating all the values and based on the answer, our assumed portion is correct or not, we can finally decide. Okay. If the answer is uh, different from the initial assumption, we have to change the portion of A and D. So clear. So I have assumed A, B, C, D. This is the portion I have assumed. And based on my assumption, I will calculate all the values. I will draw the uh, polygons. And after calculating the answer, if answer is deviate from the assumption, I will change the portion. Let me see at last. Okay. Now I am going to draw the angular portion. So for angular portion, first initially, I mark the center O, central axis O. And B and C, the data about B and C is not given. So I take first mass B. So let me take a horizontal line. B is in horizontal portion like that I decide. Okay. Any mass you can take as horizontal portion, but the data about B is completely given. So let me take B as a horizontal. And all the other masses, C, D, those angular portions also given with respect to B. So I have taken B as the horizontal line. So B is a horizontal one. And the radius of B is 240 mm. And then C. Mass C is 90 degree to mass B. Mass C is 90 degree to mass B. This one is C. And the angular portion of C is 90 degree from B. So I have measured the angle anti-clockwise direction. If you measure the angle in anti-clockwise direction, you have to follow all the angles in anti-clockwise direction. If you start to measure in clockwise direction, then you have to measure all the angles in clockwise direction. That's what the same sense means. In the problem they have mentioned the same sense. All the angles are mentioned in same same sense. We can see here 210 degree, 120 degree respectively with D in the same sense. Same sense means we have to mark the angle either in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. Suppose in the problem they will mention the angular risk calculator are measured in clockwise direction. You have to follow the particular direction only. You should not assume any other direction. If they have said same sense, okay fine. You can choose any direction. Let me take anti-clockwise direction that is more easy and I have practiced so many years taking the angle in anti-clockwise direction only. So I, take, I have taken 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction and after that there is a mass D there is mass D which is 120 degree from C which is 120 degree from C which is 210 degree from B which is 210 degree from B okay for four masses I have assumed linear portion of A and D yeah fine but in angular portion, we cannot simply place the angle somewhere in the diagram. So I simply leave the A. After calculating all the polygons, I can draw A. Okay. So the B is I have taken horizontally and C is 90 degree to B and D is 210 degree to B. So I have drawn the angular portion. So this is the angular portion diagram. And among the A, B, C, D, I take reference A, sorry, reference B. B as the reference. Why I am taking B as reference is because all the other masses are, the data are given for the other masses with respect to B only. Like uh, C is 90 degree to B, D is 210 degree to B and C is 300 up, mm apart from B. Like that all other masses data are given with respect to B only and I have taken mass B as a horizontal line. So simply I take B as the reference point. Suppose in some other problems, uh, the system is unbalanced and you are going to add some masses, then the unknown mass will be the reference point. So to make the problem very easy. 
but here the system is completely balanced i need not to add any other masses so among the four masses i have to choose one mass as reference plane so let me take b because all the data of the other masses are given with respect to b so i have taken b as a reference point right side of b let me say it is positive and left side of b that is negative so from the reference plane right side is we have to take positive and left side we have to take negative so here the linear distance from b is for c 300 mm and from b to d is not given let me take x from a to d is not given so let me take y so this is the linear position diagram see linear position diagram and in angular position as we said b c d c is 90 degree to e, uh, b and d is 210 degree with b and d is 120 degree with b so all the data are given in the problem based on that i have drawn the linear position and the angular position diagram and now i am going to form a table column to calculate the centrifugal force value and the couple value and this is a table column actually based on the the diagram i have drawn linear position and angular position i have i have to form a table column to calculate the centrifugal force value and the couple value so in the table first column represents plane second column represents the mass third column represents the radial distance so there are four different planes a b c d and b as the reference plane we have to mention here because from b only all the distances are measured and mass of a is not given so let me take mass of a simply ma and mass of b is 30 kg and c is 50 kg and d is 40 kg and then radius value they have given in mm radius value they have given in mm 180 mm for a 240 mm for b 120 mm for c and 150 mm for d but i have to mark or measure the values in meter to calculate uh, some other force value so let me mention the radius value in meter 180 mm is 0.18 meter so similarly 0.24 meter 0.12 meter 0.15 meter okay now we need to calculate the centrifugal force value the centrifugal force value for centrifugal force value the f is equal to m r omega square m r omega square for mass a mass b mass c and mass d we have to calculate separate forces so in m r omega square mass will be changing for different masses radius will be changing for different masses but omega omega is known as angular velocity which is 2 pi n by 60 the speed will not be changing because all the masses are rotating in same speed so the angular velocity for different masses will not change constant for all the masses so only the varying elements are mass and radius only so let me take the omega square to left side f by omega square is equal to mr because mass is changing radius is changing based on the two values only the force will be going to change okay similarly couple couple is equal to force into distance then force is m r omega square then into l so here m value will be changing r value will be changing distance will be changing and omega square will not change so let me take c by omega square that is equal to m r l so we need to find m r value and m r l value to calculate centrifugal force and the couple so centrifugal force f by omega square and couple value c by omega square that is equal to mass into radius this one is equal to mass into radius into l so here mass value and here radius value so multiply that 0.18 ma and 30 into 0.24 the value is uh, sorry 7.2 and 50 into 0.12 is 6 40 into 0.15 is 6 so this is mr mass into radius and then the fifth column is distance from the reference plane the reference plane is b so we can clearly see here this is the reference plane mass a is y distance from b y distance from b and mass a is left side of the reference plane b so let me take negative sign negative and then mass b the distance of b from b is zero because that is a reference plane we cannot calculate the distance for that 
So for B, the distance is 0. For C, C is placed right side 300 mm, that is 0.3 meter. So the value is 0.3 meter. So that's it, 0.3 meter I have mentioned at the top. And then D, D is X mm right side of the mass B. So this one is X plus X. That's it. And next one couple MR into L. This is MR and this is L. We have to multiply these two. So minus Y MA into 0.18. And 0 0.72 into 0, 0. 6 into 0 0.3, 1.8. 6 into X, 6 X. So this is the couple value. So we need to form the table column to calculate the centrifugal force value and the couple value based on the mass, radius and the distance from the reference plane we have we have calculated all those values. So now based on the centrifugal force, centrifugal force value we have to draw the force polygon and based on the couple values we are going to draw the couple polygon. Okay. So first of all let me draw a force polygon. So actually centrifugal force we know that if you are rotating element, the centrifugal force will be acting towards outside. It will act from the center towards outside of the rotation. So this is the centrifugal force will be acting. This one is for centrifugal force of FB. This one is centrifugal force of FC. And this is centrifugal force of FD. And somewhere in the diagram, centrifugal force of FA will be there. That's what we are going to find now. Okay. And this is the center. If it is centripetal force, the forces will be acting towards the center. If it is centrifugal, it will be passing outside of the center. It will be uh, passing through the outside. Okay, clear. And if it is a couple polygon, if it is a force polygon, for any polygon, we can assume all the forces acting on the system can be assembled as a polygon. Like uh, if it is FB, FB and then FC and FD and FA and it will form a cycle it will form a cycle and all the forces are all the forces are along the radial line if it is this is the radial line of b the force is along the radial line this is the radial line of c the force is along the radial line of c this is the force at d it is along the radial line of d so all the forces acting in the direction along the radial line of the forces okay so we can simply draw the polygon line just parallel to the mass line. Clear? So now we can start to draw. First initially, I mark O. So this is centrifugal force A, this is centrifugal force B, centrifugal force C and centrifugal force D. Force A is unknown. So we can start from B1 and second we can go for C. Third we can go for D and finally the unknown value we can draw. Okay? So first 1, 2, 3, B, C, D we can draw. B value is 7.2 kg meter. Let me take the scale 1 is to 1. So 1 kg meter is equal to 1 centimeter. Let me take the scale like that. Okay. So for B, I need to draw 7.2 centimeter line towards right side. So let me draw like that. Towards right side, I am going to draw the line. This is B. The length is 7.2 kg meter. So if this is horizontal, we have to draw a parallel line. And B is over. And now C. C is vertically upward. C is vertically upward. So after B, we need to draw a line which is vertically upward. This is C. The distance is 6 kg meter. That is 6 centimeter. Okay, fine. And then D is kind of inclined one. D is kind of inclined one. So we have to draw parallel line to D. We have to draw parallel line to D. Okay. I have drawn the parallel line here. These two lines should be parallel. For B, parallel to mass B. And C line, parallel to mass C line. For D line, the line parallel to mass D line. So this is point D. So 1 over, 2 over, 3 over. And next will be the unknown mass. The unknown mass will be the closing side. Unknown mass will be the closing side of the polygon because the system is completely balanced. 
system is completely balanced. So if you draw all the forces as a polygon, the polygon will be a completed polygon. If the system is unbalanced, then the polygon will be incomplete, incompletely. Polygon will be incompletely there. So we have to balance it to add the mass. Okay. So here the system is completely balanced. So all the forces form the polygon, a completed one. To form a polygon, a completed one. And direction, we need to put the direction here, right? Actually, uh, centrifugal force of FB, B is moving towards the right side, moving towards the right side. And this direction will form a cycle. If it is right side, this one is upward, this one is left side, this one is left side. So the direction will look like a cycle. So if you know the direction of one force, you can draw the direction of all other forces. It will form like a cycle only. Okay. So this is the force polygon. This is the force polygon. And from the force polygon, sir, so how I can calculate the mass of A? So this is the centrifugal force of FA, right? This is the centrifugal, centrifugal force of FA because this is the closing side. This one is for B. This one is for C. This one is for D. And the closing one for A. So this is the length of centrifugal force which is equal to 0.18 ma which is equal to 0.18 ma and we can measure the distance we can simply measure the distance whatever the distance will be we have to measure and with equating with the 0.18 ma we can calculate the ma value okay let me see how we are going to draw i repeat the process initially we have to mark the center point o and then, and then parallel to B line, we have to draw a horizontal line that is equal to 7.2 centimeter length. And after that, for C, C is vertically upward, I have to draw a vertical upward line that is equal to 6. And then parallel to D, I need to draw a line from C parallel to D line that is equal to 6 kgm. And the closing side will be the centrifugal force of A. That is, sorry, this one is 0.18, okay, this is 0.18. And then I need to measure the distance. FA is equal to 0.18 MA. That is equal to the distance. Actually, if I measure from the diagram, I have got 3.6 centimeter. That is 3.6 kg meter. Because 1 centimeter is equal to 1 kg meter. Now, that is the scale actually we have taken. Yeah. Then 0.18 MA is equal to 3.6 kg meter. And... To calculate MA, make 0.18 to right side. So MA is equal to 3.6 divided by 0.18. So I can get the answer mass of A is 20 kg. So mass of A is calculated that is equal to 20 kg. So from the force polygon, I have calculated the mass value. And now we are going to draw the couple polygon to calculate X value and Y value. Okay. So now I have calculated mass of A value and after that in the angular portion B is there, D is there, C is, sorry, C is there and D is there. We need to mark A also, correct? So here is the force line of A. Just draw a line parallel to the force line in the angular portion diagram. From O, draw a line just parallel to the force line. So from here to here, all the three lines are drawn from the angular portion diagram and for A the line should be drawn from the couple sorry from the force polygon to angular portion diagram okay just draw parallel line that is the mass of A and measure the angle from B that is the portion of A angular portion of A that is 236 degree I have got so just draw a line parallel to the centrifugal force of A just draw a line centrifugal force of A in the linear portion diagram in the sorry uh, angular portion diagram and after that measure the angle from B the angle is equal to 236 degree that is the angular portion of mass A. So mass A is 20 kg which is 236 degree from the mass B that's what the portion of A. Okay after that I need to draw a couple polygon to calculate Y value and x value so couple polygon is simply similar to the force polygon only the drawing method is completely similar to force polygon all the lines should be parallel to the mass lines and the direction of the couple polygon will be the cyclic one okay so now i can draw here so how it will be 
initially i have to mark the center point o so to differentiate the diagram from force polygon i mark the name o dash because in force polygon we have drawn the diagram with the name of o b c like that in small letters here in couple polygon we can uh, differentiate in the name we can uh, differ the name so that is o dash b dash a dash like that okay so how i am going to draw this is the couple of a this is couple of b this is couple of c this is couple of d couple of a unknown couple of b is zero couple of c is sorry b is zero c is 1.8 and d is the unknown value so we cannot draw the unknown first and we can start like that couple b and couple c couple b is zero so we cannot draw so the only chance is we ha we have to start from couple c we have to start from couple c that is the only known value in the couple table column okay what about c c is vertically upward c is going vertically upward so we have to draw a vertically upward line with the length is equal to 1.8 kg meter square so let me take the scale of 1 is to 1 so 1 kg meter square is equal to 1 centimeter because 1.8 i can draw it will be simply that okay that is c and direction is towards upward direction is towards upward so this is the only line i can draw from the couple values cp is zero so there will be no couple line for b and couple line for a and couple line for d are unknowns couple line for a and couple line for d are unknowns but i know the directions because i know the direction the a is moving with 236 degree and d is moving with 210 degree so i know the directions but i don't know the value but see i know the direction and i know the value okay so how the couple diagram will be there so c we have drawn and after c we are going to draw d after that we are going to draw a it will be a cyclic process right it will be a cyclic process and it will form a triangle so i know that only three forces are there if it is a force pass four uh, four process or four masses there will be four lines and among the four line one line is zero so there will be three lines three line means it will make a triangle so my couple polygon will look like a triangle okay what we are going to do so here from c draw a line which is parallel to draw a line which is parallel to d and then draw a line which is parallel to a draw a line which is parallel to a so this is parallel to d this is parallel to a and if the two lines are intersecting with each other the meeting point is d because only it will make a triangle like these two lines should intersect so if the d is going towards downward direction it will not intersect so we have to move the d towards opposite direction now the lines are intersecting now the lines are intersecting this one is d so actually from the diagram the d is moving downward direction but if we move the line downward direction from c the line will not intersect so we have to move opposite direction we have to move opposite direction so our initial assumption of d is wrong initially what we have assumed you remember that this one is b this one is c this one is d this one is a initially we have assumed d is right side of d but in the couple diagram the force is like the down uh, d is moving downward direction but here the it is moving upward direction so initial assumption is wrong the d will not become right side of b the d will come left side of b okay so initially our assumption is wrong okay this is what we are going to draw let me explain with step by step so first of all mark the point o and then draw for couple of c for the length of 1.8 kg meter square which is parallel to the vertical line yeah i have drawn and after that for d if the line is moving downward it will not intersect so we have to draw a line towards upward direction draw a line parallel to d moving upward direction and for and for a the line which should be intersecting with the line of d line of d should be intersecting with line of a this is the intersecting point that is a d dash that is d dash so this is the 
कपल पॉलीगन एंड दिस इज दी कपल ऑफ डी एंड दिस इज कपल ऑफ ए कपल ऑफ डी इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स कपल ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू पाई माइनस पॉइंट वन एट एम ए वाई and measure the distance of couple of d couple of d is equal to 6x is equal to the measured distance and similarly couple of a is equal to minus 0.18 ma x is equal to the measured distance like that so 6x is equal to if i measure i can get 2.3 cm in my diagram so 6x is equal to 2.3 cm so x is equal to 0.383 meter so i have got the x value and similarly if i measure the couple of a line if i measure the couple of a line my distance is 3.6 cm so minus 0.18 ma y is equal to 3.6 mass of a i know 20 kg so minus 0.18 into 20 into y is equal to 3.6 now y is equal to i can get answer minus 1 meter so x is 0.383 and y is minus 1 so the answer in negative value if answer comes opposite to the assumed one or assumed direction is wrong so initially what we have assumed this one is a this one is b this one is c and this one is d actually c comes opposite position in couple diagram so c is wrong c will come to left side and the distance of a is y the answer is minus 1 meter the answer comes negative so assume position of a is wrong the a will be come to right side so both position we have assumed a and d both are wrong d is wrong because the couple diagram shows in opposite direction and a is wrong because the value of y comes to negative value if y comes positive the position is right if the couple diagram if d is going toward downward and the diagram in angular position also downward then d is right but both are in wrong position we have to change the positions we have to change the position so similarly this is the assumed position a b c d b and c are fixed the positions are completely given and d is we have assumed x distance to us right said x value is 383 mm that is 0.383 meter we have assumed right side but the direction is opposite so we have to move to left side so from b d is 383 mm left side i have moved and similarly a is minus 1 meter so answer comes negative so we have to move the a right side so from b a is 1 meter right side that is 1000 mm right side okay so this is how we can calculate the unknown position and unknown mass unknown orientation from the force and couple polygon and if the answer comes opposite to the initial assumption we have to change the position of the masses okay thank you